Hello everybody, welcome to another yoga session with me Ramya. In this session we will be focusing on strength and flexibility. Strength and flexibility go hand in hand in yoga. With practice, as you develop more flexibility, you can go deeper into the postures and as you develop more strength, you can hold the postures for a longer period of time. And strength and flexibility are very important for a healthy body and a healthy mind. All right, let's get started. So come to sit comfortably, keeping your back straight. Close down your eyes. Relax your shoulders. And let's ground ourselves using breath. Inhale through your nose deeply. And exhale out through your mouth open. Let everything out. Inhale again. And exhale out through your mouth. One last time, inhale. And exhale through your mouth. Now return your breathing back to normal. And for this short session, let's try to be present with our breath and our body, completely present. Now you can slowly open your eyes and let's do some warm ups. Okay, first we'll warm up our hips. So we'll do circular rotations with them, keeping your hands on your knees, bend forward at the hips and make big circles with your torso. Inhaling as you go forward, exhaling as you go slightly back, crunching your core. Inhale again, move forward. Exhale, go back. Inhale again, open up your chest. And exhale, go back. And now we'll do the other side. Inhale, go back in the opposite direction. Exhale, go forward. Inhale, go back. Exhale, forward. One last time, inhale, go back. And exhale, forward. And come back to center. Now, we'll straighten our legs in front of us and come to sit in staff pose or dandasana. Keep your hands on either side of your hips and we'll warm up our legs. Flex your ankles so that your toes are actively pointing towards you. And now we'll do some circles with our legs. Okay, first with the right leg. Lift your right leg slightly. Bend the leg at the knee and bring the heel close to your glutes and then straighten it up as much as you can and as you exhale, bring it slowly towards the ground, not touching the ground, hovering above the ground. And we'll repeat this four times. Inhale, bend the leg, heels come towards your bum, straighten it up, exhale, bring it slowly to the ground. Three more times. Inhale, bend the leg, straighten it up, exhale towards the ground, inhale and exhale one last time, inhale and exhale and now bring it all the way to the ground and now we'll repeat for the left side, inhale lift your leg slightly above the ground and bend the leg at the knee and bring it towards your glutes, straighten it up and exhale bring it towards the ground. Inhale, bend the leg and then straighten it up. Exhale, towards the ground. Three more times. Inhale, bend the leg, straighten it up. Exhale, towards the ground. Inhale and exhale. One more time. Inhale and exhale. Now bring it all the way to the ground. Now 
turn over to your left side place your left elbow on the ground like this so that your torso and your head are raised above the ground right leg is on top of the left leg and now we'll lift the right leg up inhale keep the leg straight lift it up exhale bring it towards the ground four more times inhale up exhale down inhale up bring it close to your body exhale down as much as you can inhale up exhale down one last time keep your core tight inhale up and exhale down okay now turn and come on top of your stomach we'll do some baby cobras to warm up our backs toes pointing backwards palms underneath the shoulders on the mat so as we inhale we lift the head neck and chest and the palms come above the ground as you exhale release everything back to the ground we'll do this four more times inhale lift your head neck chest and palms arch your back slightly exhale release everything inhale baby cobra exhale release inhale up arch your back exhale release one last time inhale up and exhale release now we'll turn over to our right side and place the left leg on top of the right leg and the right elbow is on the ground okay and now we lift our right leg up inhale lift the right leg up towards the sky keep your core tight exhale down make sure your hip is not going back when you lift your leg up inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down strong legs one last time inhale up and exhale down now turn and come to sit in staff pose or dandasana legs straight out in front of you now we'll do reverse table top take your feet parallel hip distance apart in front of you and then we'll push with the with the hands down and lift the hip up and as you lift the hip up bend the knee and lift your body parallel to the ground reverse table top inhale and as you exhale lower your hip towards the ground straighten out your legs and bring them back towards your hand slightly lifted above the ground so it's not touching the ground again we'll repeat inhale go to reverse table top lift the hip bend the knees body comes parallel to the ground exhale lower the hips straighten out the legs hips come towards your hand inhale lift up reverse table top exhale keep your core tight strong legs hips come back inhale lift up exhale come back one last time inhale lift up exhale push your hips back and drop them onto the ground okay now we'll turn over and come to neutral table top so we come on top of our knees knees are hip distance apart palms are underneath the shoulders shoulder distance apart and we tuck the back toes and we lift up for downward facing dog legs are straight as straight as possible back is straight stretch it out breathe here okay let's continue now we'll 
straighten out our body so that our shoulders come above the wrist coming to plank position body is straight and inhale here and as you exhale we'll drop down to chaturanga we have two options option a drop the knees down and lower your chest bending the elbows towards the ground that's one option like a push up another option keep the knees lifted like in plank bend the elbows and again lower your chest towards the ground chaturanga and then we go to upward dog so lift the torso up lift the head up pelvis comes up knees are up toes are pointing backwards upward facing dog and then tuck the back toes and lift the hip up and come back to downward facing dog so we'll repeat this sequence four more times inhale come to plank straighten out the torso straighten out the body exhale chaturanga any way you prefer inhale upward facing dog lift everything up except the feet and exhale downward facing dog nice three more times inhale plank exhale chaturanga inhale upward dog exhale downward dog keep going inhale plank exhale chaturanga inhale upward dog exhale downward dog one last time inhale plank exhale chaturanga inhale upward dog and exhale downward facing dog very nice now drop your knees to the floor and we'll come to rest in child's pose toes come together hips are resting on top of the heels and we fold forward forehead is on the mat deep breaths Now slowly lift up. Now again, like how we did in the beginning, come to lie down on your left side, right leg on top of the left leg, left elbow on the ground, and now lift the right leg up towards the sky, straight up, and then grab hold of your right big toe with your hands, or your ankle, or your shin, whatever is accessible. and slowly straighten the leg out and bring it closer and closer to your body breathe here for 5 breaths three two and one slowly release the foot back to the ground and turn over onto your stomach and we'll come up to upward facing dog so lift the body up lift the thighs knees up and we'll stay here for five deep breaths relax your shoulders your shoulders are coming away from your ears strong legs Three, two, and one. Drop your knees onto the mat. Push your hips up. Come to neutral tabletop, and then keep your knees as is, and lift your hands and torso straight. So you're coming as though you're standing on your knees. You can support your knees with some knee pads if required. Okay. And now we'll slowly get into camel pose. We'll ease into it in the beginning. First, hands in front of your chest in namaste or you can support your back if required by placing your palms on your lower back. 
inhale and lift your chest head up and look back and keep breathing here for 3 arch your back 2 and 1 slowly lift up and release and relax so now let's place the right hand on the right heel arching your back if this is not accessible you can tuck your right toes and place the right hand on the heel which has a little lift now or you can place your right hand on your hip now keeping your right hand where it's comfortable lift the chest head up towards the sky and take your left hand all the way up and above forming a rainbow arching your back and we'll stay here for three deep breaths inhale and exhale inhale and exhale one more time and as you exhale lower your left hand and lift your torso up and straight and now we'll repeat on the left side place your left hand on the left heel where it's comfortable and take your right hand all the way up and above lifting your chest and head up towards the sky arching your back stay here for 3 2 keep breathing and 1 and as you exhale lower your right hand down and lift your torso up and now for the final posture camel pose inhale and drop your right hand on your right heel and your left hand on your left heel and lift your chest up towards the sky and possibly drop your head back and keep breathing for 5 deep breaths lift your head and chest up and release your hands and now we'll rest in child's pose again release the knee pads if you have used them drop your hips on your heels lower your head to the mat completely relax your back inhale and slowly lift up and now we'll do another back bend supta vajrasan continue to sit in vajrasan and drop your elbows if possible behind you on the mat and look up towards the sky and lift your chest up you can take it a little deeper by dropping your head back and maybe reaching your head crown of your head towards the ground and we'll relax here you can walk your elbows a little forward and maybe place your palms on your thighs Stay in this final posture for five deep breaths. Two and one, and now slowly release your hands, release your head, and turn over to your right side and straighten out your legs. Your left leg comes on the on top of the right leg, right elbows on the ground. And now we lift the left leg up, straight and up towards the sky. Grab hold of the left big toe with the hands or your ankle or your shin, whichever is possible. And bring it closer and closer to your torso, breathing as you do so. Keep your core tight. 
Make sure your hip is not going backwards. Ground firmly with the right foot. Press it towards the ground. Three more breaths. And one and release. And now turn over and come to tabletop and lift up to downward facing dog. And now we'll do downward dog walks. Inhale and lift your right leg up towards the sky. And as you exhale, lower your right leg down and place the right foot in front of the left foot but on the right side. And then inhale and lift the left foot up towards the sky. Up straight towards the sky. And as you exhale, lower your left leg and drop the left foot in front of the right foot on the left side. So it's like you're walking towards your hands. And now maybe you might bend your left knee a little bit. Inhale, take your right leg straight towards the sky. Maybe you come onto your fingertips in front. Exhale, lower your right leg and place the right foot in front of the left. Inhale, lift the left leg up towards the sky. Again, maybe your right knee bends a little. And exhale, lower the left leg and place the left foot in front of the right foot. One more time. Inhale, lift the right leg up straight towards the sky. Exhale, lower the right leg and place the right foot in between your hands. Inhale, lift the left leg up towards the sky. And exhale, lower the left leg, place the left foot in between your hands. And we'll come to a forward fold. Relaxing your back, lowering your head slowly towards the legs. One more breath, one deep breath. And now we place the palms on the mat and step both the leg back and come to downward facing dog. Nice. And now we lift the right leg up towards the sky, bend the right leg at the knee and bring the right foot in between the hands, lift the torso up and come to face the long edge of the mat coming to wide angle neutral position. From here Let's bend at the hips and forward fold, bringing the torso down, head towards the ground and hands come on the mat underneath the shoulders. One breath here. And now we'll come into a side lunge. Walk your hands towards the right side. Turn the right foot out a little. Bend the right leg at the knee. Drop your hips towards the right side. Straighten out the left leg. And maybe point your toes towards the sky. Side lunge on the right side. And then push the hands down and lift the hips up. And we'll do the side lunge on the left side. Walk your hands towards the left foot. Turn your left foot out a little. Bend the leg at the knee. Drop your hips towards the left side. Straighten out the right leg. Toes point towards the sky. We'll do this two more times. Inhale, lift the hips up. Walk your hands towards the right side. Side lunge on the right. Drop your hips down. Flex your left foot if possible. You might be even on your right toes. That's completely okay. Inhale, lift your hip up. Side lunge on the left side. Exhale. Drop your hip down on the left side. Flex your right foot. One more time. Inhale, lift the hip up. Walk your hands to the right. Drop your hip on the right side, bending the right leg at the knee. Inhale up, side lunge on the left. Walk your hands to the left. Drop your hips down. 
toes pointing up. Nice. Now lift the hip up again. Hands come to the center. Torso comes up, hands come up. Coming back to a wide angle neutral position. And now we'll do warrior two. Inhale, take your hands parallel to the ground, straight. Turn your right foot out and then bend the right leg at the knee and lower your hips down. Look towards your right hand and breathe. Warrior two. Feel like there's opposing forces pulling both your hands in opposite direction. Taking both your knees in the opposite direction. So you're not moving too forward. It's more like a pelvis opening. Three more breaths. Go a little deeper. And one. Nice. Now bend the right hand and place the right elbow on top of the right thigh. We'll go into our extended side angle pose. Take your left hand straight, forming a diagonal line with your left hand and your left leg. And look at your left hand. And breathe. Deep breaths. Sink a little lower with every breath. Back leg is straight and active. Nice. Inhale, lower your left hand. Lift your right hand so that it comes parallel to the ground. We'll go into our triangle pose. Shorten your stance a little bit. Bring your left leg a little closer to your right leg. Reach out with your right hand and lower your right hand towards the mat, either touching your ankle or your toes or your shin or the mat and lift your left hand up straight towards the sky. Make sure your hip is not going backwards. It's more in alignment with your hands and legs. Look up, open your chest out and breathe. Inhale. And as you exhale, lower your left hand down and both your hands come on either side of your front right foot and we'll forward fold into our pyramid, bringing the head closer and closer towards your right leg. Maybe you can bring the left foot a little bit more closer towards your right leg. Deep breaths here. Hamstrings are stretching. Just be present with the sensations. One last breath. Nice. Inhale, lift your torso up. And we come back to our wide angle starting position. So take your left leg out a bit. And we'll repeat this on the left side. So warrior two on the left. Turn your left foot out. Hands come parallel to the ground. Bend the left knee. Look at your left hand and lower your hip down. And breathe. Again, feel that opposing force pulling your hands in the opposite direction and try to bring your left thigh as parallel as possible to the mat. Three more breaths. Strong legs. And one. Bend the left hand now and place the left elbow on your left thigh. And take your right hand up and above, diagonal with your right hand and your right leg. And look at your right hand. 
And we'll stay here for five deep breaths. Keep sinking your hips lower and lower with every breath. Two and one and now triangle. Hands come parallel to the ground. Shorten your stance a bit. Right foot comes closer. Reach out with your left hand and drop your left hand to the mat or to your legs and take your right hand up straight and look at your right hand opening up your chest to the sky. Breathe. And now pyramid pose, lower your right hand down. Both hands come on either side of your left foot and forward fold into pyramid, bringing your head closer and closer to your left leg. Both legs are straight. Inhale, slowly lift your torso up and come back to the wide angle neutral position. And now we'll slowly go into a side lunge on the right side. First, drop your hands on the mat underneath your shoulders, lowering your head down to the floor and then walk your hands towards the right foot bend the right leg at the knee dropping your hips down just like we did before straightening out the left leg and now if possible bring your hands in front of your chest in namaste and your right elbow comes on the inside of your right knee gently pushing it out a bit opening up the hip and breathe Three, two, and one. And now we'll go into a wild thing. Drop your right hand behind you on the mat, fingertips pointing forward, and push your hands and your feet down on the mat and lift your hip up towards the sky and take your left hand up and over you, forming a rainbow. And breathe for three, two and one and lower your left hand down dropping your hips onto the mat and bring your right foot close to your left leg and place it near your left inner thigh dropping your knees to the mat and now we'll do a stretch grab hold of your left foot with your left hand or you can place it on the ankle or the shin stretch and lean your torso over to the left side and take your right hand up and above forming a rainbow trying to reach the left foot if possible and then open your chest out towards the sky feeling that stretch on your right side breathe here Inhale, lift your torso up, release both your hands and then bend the left leg at the knee such that your left foot comes close to your glutes. Turn your torso so it's facing the right knee and fold forward onto the knee and maybe your head touches the ground and reach your hands forward. Relaxing here for five breaths. Saitalya Asana. Inhale. 
Inhale, slowly lift your torso up. Walk your hands back. And now take your left foot with your left hand and straighten out the left leg in front of you. Grab hold of your foot with both your hands. Straighten it out for three, two, one. And then bring your left foot outside your right knee and place it on the mat. And we'll go into a twist. Place the right elbow on the outside of your left thigh. Left hand on the ground behind you. Look back towards your left. Twisting. Inhale, look forward. Release your hands. Bring your left foot back to the side. Coming back into our side lunge on the right momentarily and now we'll shift over lifting the hips up and we'll shift over to the left side so we'll come to a side lunge on the left dropping the hips straightening out the right foot namaste in front of your chest if possible left elbow on the inside of your left thigh gently pushing out the left knee Breathe here. And one. And now, wild thing. Drop your left hand on the mat behind you. Fingertips pointing forward. Push with your hands and feet down and lift your hips up towards the sky. Taking your right hand up and above, forming a rainbow for three, two, and one. As you exhale, lower your right hand down, drop your hips onto the mat, and bring your left foot and place it near your right inner thigh. And now we'll do our stretch. Grab hold of your right foot with the right hand, or your ankles or your shin. Bend the right hand at the elbow, and lean towards the right side with your torso. Take your left hand up and above, trying to reach your right toes and open your chest to the sky, breathing. One more breath. Lift your torso up, release your hands, bend the right leg at the knee, bringing your right foot close to your glutes and turn your torso towards the left side and drop your forehead to the mat, straightening out your hands in front of you and relax here for five deep breaths. Inhale, slowly walk your hands back, lift your torso up and then grab hold of your right foot with your right hand, straighten out the leg in front of you for three, two and one. Drop your right foot on the outside of your left knee and we'll do a twist, place the left elbow on the outside of your right knee right hand on the mat behind you and twist towards the right side looking back breathing and then look forward release your hands release your leg and straighten out the leg in front of you and we'll do a forward fold Paschimottanasan take your hands straight up towards the sky inhale and as you exhale bend at the hips stretch out your lower back 
and grab hold of either your foot or your shin and lower your torso towards your legs and we'll stay here for around 8 breaths as you exhale try to relax your back and maybe go deeper into the posture inhale slowly lift your torso up release your hands bend the legs at the knees and we'll windmill the knees drop both the knees to the right side and then to the left cooling down drop them to the right the left one more time right and left and now we'll go into a bridge pose or wheel pose before we go into shavasana so drop your back onto the mat and come lie down with your knees bent palms are on the mat and we'll push with the hands down and lift the hip up and come to a bridge pose relax your neck and relax your shoulder here You can either stay here or if you want you can go into wheel pose. So bend the elbows and place the hands next to your ears, fingertips pointing towards your legs. And then push with your hands down, lift your chest, head and torso up and come to wheel pose. 5 breaths. slowly release your head towards the mat and drop your hips back onto the mat maybe hug your knees towards your chest one final squeeze straighten everything out straighten your legs straighten your hands palms facing the sky and we'll come to our final relaxing shavasana We'll stay here for a few minutes to let this practice be fully absorbed into your being. slowly bring your awareness back into your body move your fingertips your toes a little bit and when you feel ready turn over to one side and come 
to a seated position. And when you feel ready, you can slowly open your eyes. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Have a great day and I'll see you on the mat soon. Thank you. Bye.